Hello, this is Nick from ReviewOutlaw.com. Today I'm going to show you how to mine Heavycoin. Uh, so first, what is Heavycoin? Um, it's a new altcoin, similar to Litecoin. Um, in Quarkcoin, it's primarily a CPU mine coin. Uh, they did just just come out with a graphics card mining um, program, so that's pretty cool. Um, but uh, you can still CPU mine it and get um, a good amount of coins off of it. So um, one thing that makes heavy coin unique is the fact that there's voting, and the voting actually adjusts how quickly the coin's going to be mined and how much the supply of the coin is going to be uh, available. It could be as little little as 63 million coins or as high as 128 million coins. Um, depending on how people vote and you actually get a choice in voting as you mine for the coin. So um, first I'm going to show you in this video how to CPU mine. So first we're going to do is we want to disable your antivirus. Um, the wallet itself, because it has a built-in miner, it will probably come up as a, um, a virus on your antivirus. So you want to go in here and disable uh, your antivirus. I have Norton here. So I'm going to just disable it for about 15 minutes. There we go. And next thing we want to do is download the wallet. So I'm going to put a bad link in here. <laughs> we're going to go to Heavy Coins main website and we're going to download the Windows wallet here. Now I already have it downloaded. So once you have it downloaded, you're going to open it up and it might take a while to sync the first time, but after it syncs, it should open up, no problem. So here's a couple coins I've already mined. Here you can see the block reward voting. I'm going to show you how to do that. First thing I'm going to do is show you how to solo mine. Um, this will allow you to vote. Um, so basically to do that, we're going to go to settings. We're going to go to options. And here we have a couple different choices. First you want to check off mine heavy coins. Now you have your threads. Um, basically your depending what kind of chip you have, you might have 10 threads, you might have one thread, uh, you might have 12 threads. So the, the more threads you use, the more of your chip you're going to use. Quick way to, to figure out how many threads you have is open task manager, control, alt, escape, and you can look here at your CPU, um, and you can see how many I have 12 right here, 12 threads. Um, so depending on your operating system, it should show you somewhere how many cores you have and uh, that basically tells you how many threads you have. So here the default is uh, 115 on the block reward. You can raise that or lower that and that's gonna adjust um, how quickly those coins are gonna be mined and how many of them are gonna be mined. Um, you can, I would recommend checking off these two. Show the block reward on overview and show money supply. Uh, you can auto, also auto start it with the system. And just for see if there's anything else. I like to check these off, minimize the system tray and minimize on close. Yeah, that's about it. So basically here, now we've I've decided here what we're gonna mine. And as you mine the coins, that's gonna kind of put in your vote um, towards um, whether we want to raise it or s slow the production down or increase the production depending on how fast everything's mining or you're just your personal choice. Um, so now what we want to do is we want to go and show you how to um, pool mine. Um, the nice thing about pool mining is you could run this uh, pool software on multiple systems. So you have maybe 10 systems but, and you want all the coins to go to one uh, wallet, you can use uh, some pool software. So what we have here is um, some pool software. I'm going to show you how to do that. First, to get this um, software working, we're going to want to get the receive address. So we're going to open up the wallet. I'm going to go to receive, copy this address. Next, we're going to download the simple um, well, it's GPU or CPU miner. And we're going to download that. 
Now we're going to go through and uh, I've already actually had it installed so I'm just going to skip to me opening it. Alright, now what we do is choose the coin, which is heavy coin. And we're going to need to paste in, so right click and paste your address into the receive coin address here. Next we're going to go over to settings. We're going to uncheck start invisible. We're going to check off idle and not idle. And we're going to stop that and so we verify all the settings. Now I'm going to click run. And you should see a DOS window pop up here. It should say using the heavy algorithm. It should say accepted. And that basically means we're mining coins right now with some pool software. What's neat about this, he has some friends' computers, work computers, something like that. Um, you can run the software in the background. You can run it invisible. And it'll uh, mine heavy coins for you. Now, it won't uh, give you that voting choice. So that's why I show you how to um, solo mine if you'd like to uh, have the option to vote and kind of uh, control what's going to happen with the coins in the long run. So now that we know it's mining, we're going to stop this. I'm going to turn it into invisible so I don't see the pop up. Run it only when it's idle. Go back to the main screen and just click run. You can see here Donald is now mining. So you can actually get out of that now and it's going to mine in the background. Um, and basically you should have some coins. Usually within 24 hours you'll see some coins pop in there. Um, next thing we want to do is we want to exclude the, the, the software here from um, being picked up by the antivirus. If you don't, next time it scans, it's going to remove your mining software. So you want to exclude your wallet and your um, the, the mining program. So we're going to click add folder and I put the link but it's basically C program files and miner folder here. So you can exclude that right there. I've already excluded it and just exclude it also from auto protect and sonar scans. So that is about it. I've just showed you how to CPU mine uh, heavy coins and I've showed you how to do it solo and how to pool mine um, depending on uh, you know what you have available and how many systems you have and if you feel like running the program in the background and the, the other downside about running this program is if you leave the miner running it will slow down your system so it doesn't have an option to solo mine only when uh, it's idle but you could change this just to one core if you have 12 cores that won't really slow it down too much so there's a couple options for you um, if you have any questions feel free to um, send it uh, down here in the discussion and I'll try to answer it it's for you um, next video I'm going to show you how to GPU mine or using your graphics card uh, how to mine with that and uh, you can accelerate your mining if you have a pretty decent video card. So stay tuned for that and uh, give me a Facebook like, tweet, plus one, or um, a YouTube thumbs up if you like the video. Thanks. I just wanted to say thank you for watching my video and if you have some time um, please click the subscribe button here and if you also liked it please give me the thumbs up like. Um, that will help my videos out greatly in my channel. And finally, you can actually um, view uh, more about my posts and videos at reviewoutlaw.com. And I put a link here in the show notes. Thank you.